I can't tell me nothing. All right, let me calm down. It just looks so good. Hi, I'm Shaka Starks and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm bringing out another clip in install because your girl loves a clip in install. First of all, clip-ins are so freaking easy. Anyone can do them. They're so quick. You're going to get a look of a sew-in for a fraction of the time. And you can do like, you can do endless styles with clip-ins. So I'm using this hair from a company called Ion Hair. Um, this is what the package looks like. I'm using two sets of their silky straight clip-in bundles or just silky straight clip-ins or whatever. This hair feels so good. Um, and I know it's gonna be a really good match because my hair is pretty black. I just did a um, silk press on my hair and a deep If you wanna see how I do my silk press at home, go ahead and watch that video. So I'll link it below. So freaking good. But if you've watched any of my videos or if you've been on my channel before, you know, I have super fine hair. I have really, you know, thin edges. Um, so it's a finesse over here. It's a finesse. And I'm gonna show you how to make these clip-ins work for you, okay? So let's get started. The technique that I use is so easy. Like for real, when I say anybody can do it, anybody can do it. So if you have fun, especially if you have like a similar hair texture, um, as mine, or even if you don't, um, I'm pretty sure you could do it, you know, if your hair is thicker. So and the hack that I do that saves me a bunch of time is I just part out my leave out and I literally just put the rest of my hair in a ponytail. Um, and I clip the weave, the each track right onto my hair, not onto the parts, not close to my scalp for each track right onto my hair. So right now I'm going to be doing a middle part because that's just what I'm feeling like. Um, that's just what I'm in the mood for. But honestly, y'all, they're clippings. I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch up your part. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a long, long like, contemplation of like where do what do I want a middle part or a side part a middle part or a side part it don't matter when you have clip-ins okay because you're gonna get both you know it's super versatile you can put it in a ponytail you can do a half up half down situation you could do a side part a middle part uh, a bun a, a, a long you know ponytail look or what so just keeping it G this is not a protective style your hair, I mean, I guess it kind of is because of the way that I'm doing it, but your hair is out, you know. You could braid up your hair and clip your clip the tracks to your braids. I don't do that just because I want y'all to see how easy and how quick this is. So this is what I do. This is the hair I'm leaving out, and this is the hair that, you know, this is my hair in a ponytail. So they are, I said I had two sets of clip-ins. There's some with two clips and there's some with three clips and one with four. So I'm gonna start with the three clips and I'm just going to clip this right on to my hair. So as you can see, I am clipping these combs right onto my hair. I do a slick ponytail as low as I can get it. And I just lay these tracks just like I would be doing my sew-in or a quick weave or anything like that. Um, in the front, I'm just laying them so they go toward my face and the hair falls forward. That way, the my edges won't be exposed and I just get a nice flat 
you know, clip and install. The way I'm doing this also is just my preference. If you'd like to do track by track, if you're not really looking for like a full sew-in type of look and you just want like a little more fullness or some extra length, you can part off um, more of your hair, leave more leave out out if you want, or um, cover each track with hair just to add fullness and to kind of give you a natural look. But this is what works for me since my hair is really fine. Um, it just is easier to blend this way. I also don't have to worry about my hair reverting and not matching the straight texture. It feels so good. Um, um, now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna see what it's giving. This is when I comb down my leave out and just make sure it's looking how I want it to look. I decide where I want my part, if I'm going to do a side part or a middle part. And I usually, um, when I first have a set of clip-ins, will make sure that, um, you know, my clip-in is the perfect size here. Um, I'll cut one of the combs off if it's too small and just do one with two combs or one comb and that's what I did I just put one of these tracks on each side and I made it a onesie it looked so good it looked super natural honestly so if you like a natural look you'll really like this it is super comfortable super duper comfortable um, I'm just cutting it a little bit to like blend, but I'm also going to, ah, I'm also going to curl it. I like the way it looks straight though. I like that straight though, but I'm just going to curl it a little bit, just running my scissors down. So I just finessed a little light layers and now I'm just clipping my ends to make sure it's even. Y'all, this hair is so lightweight. It's so comfortable. The combs, you can barely feel them. Like, I feel them because, I don't know, I just know they're there. But after a while, like, it just, you know, I couldn't feel them. So I want you to see how easy this hair is to curl. I literally just ran my flat iron through it one pass and it curled perfectly. These curls held up. I did not have to touch them up. Um, I was able to just clip them in again without recurling them. I love how lightweight and easy to work with this hair was. These curls were so nice and bouncy. It had lots of movement. I didn't use any product in this hair. The luster was perfect. It wasn't too shiny or too dull. The color was perfect. I am just in love with how natural this looks. Again, like if you like um, a fuller look, I would suggest getting an extra set. Or even trying this hair and making your own custom clip-ins and maybe putting like more than one weft on each clip. But this really worked perfect for me. So if your hair texture is similar to mine, this texture should work for you. Can't tell me nothing. I, I can't tell me nothing. All right, let me calm down. It just looks so good. Like... <sighs> You know, I was already feeling myself because it's just the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes on this channel. But baby. What that? It's a blend for me. It's the blend for me. It's the blend for me. Take me out to dinner. <laughs> hey, yo. Take me out to dinner. <laughs> okay.
the weird stuff. <laughs> All right, I get comments. Keep your tongue in your mouth, baby. Keep your tongue in your mouth. Don't worry about mine, okay? It's mine. But like, for real, for real, we, we Gucci. That was so easy and so pretty, y'all. And we can part her anywhere because all we got to do is clip, clip. In part, but I really like the middle part, guys. I like the middle part. It's so soft, y'all. Get into it. No shedding. <laughs> no shedding. Y'all know, like, the shedding is the worst. Like, but there's none. I don't like shedding. I know it's going to happen because, you know, it's just not growing out of my scalp. And even the hair in my growing out of my scalp sheds. But when your weave is shedding, it's just not cute, girl. It's not cute. All right, I don't really need to do anything else. How quick was that? Like, come on, sis. This hair is from Ion Hair Company or Eon. I think it's Ion though. But yeah, y'all, it looks so good. Take me out to dinner. Take me out to dinner. Take me out to dinner, Joe Biden. It's the vines for me. It's the minds for me. It's the minds for me. It's like, all right, let me stop. Let me shout. Let me shout. I'm excited though. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you get yourself some clippings and get yourself this cute little style. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And show me some love in the comment section below. I will see you in my next video. Thanks, y'all. Peace.